had just the interruption. Good morning, afternoon, almost, almost noon. Oh Lord, don't have on any of that pretty makeup that I did when I taught the Bible lessons. <laughs> I'm just telling you, makeup is good. But my goodness, who has quit wearing makeup during the quarantine? Everybody. <laughs> my cousin has been sending me some of the funniest stuff. And he said, sent me a thing that bras and makeup were going to reappear after the quarantine that they had been missing. <laughs> he just sent me some funny stuff. I'm putting on a little powder. Well... I've had a busy week with y'all, haven't I? I've been good. I don't even know why I put on any lipstick. I just like to, I just like to have a little bit of something on my lips. I'm not a big lip gloss girl, but now this right here. Oh my gosh, y'all. Gosh, y'all, my cataract appointments. Keep getting moved and moved and moved and moved. Just a little bitty pain on the barn. Goes a long, long way. I have to roll the window down. We gotta get my car in the shop. I know y'all tired of hearing about that. Just like, get your air fixed for goodness sake. I think we're gonna have to trade cars. And I would just drive this one for about another two or three years. I'm perfectly happy with it. But they gave us some news at the car lot the other day. We've really been blessed. This is an a Buick Enclave. And uh, we bought it new. And I guess this is the, it's nine years old, maybe? Eight years, going on nine years. I don't know exactly. I guess it'll be nine years in the fall. Because, you know, they kind of come out in the fall before. But, uh, I hate car payments. And, I mean, I love a new car, but, man, I just hate a car payment. We don't have a car payment right now. And I don't even know what I want. Uh, they said they'd had a lot of problems with the enclaves. And, praise God in heaven, this one's been great. Anyway, do y'all want to hear all that? Probably not. I am, it's a beautiful, be I think we've had some of the prettiest spring days. I think this has been one of the prettiest springs. We've had severe weather as we always do in April. This past week was the anniversary of April the 27th, 2011, when 63 tornadoes went through Alabama, hit the University of Alabama, killed several students and people, you know, just all, and that's the day that John and I were in Las Vegas, Ashley and Michael were at the airport, and it was heading straight for the Birmingham airport, they put them down underneath the airport where the luggage is, but it turned, because this mama was in a Las Vegas hotel room, I'd left out of the conference, because I was getting such horrible weather reports on my phone, and I was walking the floors praying for our family, for my kids at the airport. I probably was receiving better coverage in Las Vegas than they were at home. But there's, we've got pictures. I don't know if I can find that picture or not, but if I can, of our local restaurant here and just a few miles from John's brother house, but we've got a picture for the tornado. Y'all, it was the most massive thing you have ever seen in your life. Uh, it was an F, what is the highest, F5, F4, F5. It was the largest one. Why did I even get on that? I don't know. I'm going to get rigs. Um, Rhett spent the night with us. The big boys have a lot of homework they need to get done today. And they do Zoom meetings. And Riggs thinks he's supposed to be in on the Zoom meetings. Um, the teacher was saying stuff the other day. And she was like saying hey to different ones. And Ashley said she said hey to one. He said, I Riggs. And then she went, hey, Caden. He said, I Riggs. <laughs> 
in other words, I think she finally ended up acknowledging, even though he wasn't in the first grade with Red. <laughs> so that Red had a ball being at our house. You saw the humongous bubble bath. <laughs> the comments were off on that, and I don't know if YouTube did that because it was a child in a tub, which obviously I'm very careful never to show anything. I I turned the comments on. I don't know. Because I never turned the comments. I don't know if it just did it because there was a child in the video. I don't know. As you know, they've made the real strict rulings, you know, if you have a channel that's for children. But my channel is not for children. I do show children, but it's not for children. So, anyway, I started just to leave them off, but I turned them on. One of y'all actually told me that the comments were disabled. I didn't even know that. But it is a gorgeous, I know I got started on that. It's a gorgeous spring day. We've had some beautiful days. And um, I'm just ready for this quarantine to be over. I'm really disappointed in, and I back our governor. She's an older lady, but she's sharp. And, Governor Kay Ivey, but she opened up the retail this week and there are people hurting. I don't understand why 700 people can be in Walmart and you can't allow the salons to open back up and put distance between them and for them to wear masks. These salon owners and workers, they're hurting private businesses are hurting. These things have been shut down since March the 15th. And I know, I know, I mean, I know we've all complied. Michael's parents haven't seen the kids. They were there for the birthday parade, but they never got around them. And it's not the big businesses that are hurting as bad as it is the small businesses. Oh my goodness, I know. I mean, I know there are people that are hurting so badly financially. And that stimulus check, will, even though it was a blessing, it will only go so far. So, um, I just pray for God to make a way for those people. Because I've not been having Bible studies, and me and John both, John's been working just unreal hours and today or the last few days it's like it has hit him he's been going like a house of fire ever since March and it's like the last few days it hit him he's exhausted when John gets exhausted he gets really really grouchy sharp tone to his voice and so he said some things while ago and I'm just like just not going there with you because I know you're exhausted and I know this is not really you, but this is the way you get when you're tired. And nobody, nobody at the college or anywhere else can understand the load he's been under. He's worked so many hours. And then he, I left him, I mean, he, you know, they get off half down Friday, which he's not been doing that, but he did come home today and I left him at the kitchen table working. So anyway, hoping that'll get a break and I'm ready for him to retire. I really am. I'm ready for him to relax and he'll stay busy. And I'm just, I'm, I'm ready for him to be there. Um, I just enjoy him being there and he's worked hard and he deserves it. And, and I'm excited about this fall that when we just want to take off and go travel, yeah, I'll have to make provisions with the, you know, with the babies and with mother both. I've got big responsibilities, but I'm just going to have to find somebody to help. That's just all there is to it because we've worked hard for these years to get to this place to where we can travel when we want to. And um, I'm looking forward to it. Speaking of my mom, love, y'all just keep her in your prayers. She would be furious for me saying this, but she's not done good the last week. She's been um, very confused and rattled. And I've 
I've seen some things just the last three days that's concerned me. I, I, she got upset about some things though, and I, 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 I'm, I'm praying that maybe this is just a little side effect from that because she was, um, I went and bought her uh, groceries yesterday evening and took them to her and unloaded them and put them away and everything. And she was real confused about some stuff. So, um, you know, still talking like she does, but then she was asking me things that she knew full well exactly how to do it she's just been confused and she'd be furious if she knew I said anything but y'all just be praying for because I know you love her so much and I also know that she's not gonna be here forever I mean she's been blessed she deserves some good years because she had some rough years with my daddy some very 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 rough years and um, but she's not gonna be here forever Buddy, she's gonna leave a great big old hole. That little bitty woman <laughs> is gonna leave a great big hole when she's gone. I know I'm gonna miss her. She's precious. She's precious. And I'm just gonna be terribly blunt here. I've got some family that doesn't come to see her at all. They're gonna throw every excuse out in the world, but one of these days she's gonna be gone and they're not gonna be able to see her and then they're gonna to have to live with that. So I called the doctor's office this morning that I went to my local, just my little local yokel doctor, not the one in Birmingham. I had contacted my doctor in Birmingham and he had through the portal he had told me they would send me to an ear nose and throat doctor when um after this was all over because i'm still not tasting or smelling i get little bits of smell and it's like sometimes when i eat like i taste a little bit of the first bite i haven't been able to taste a smell since the week i got sick and it will be 10 weeks monday so when I called him, I said, just ask the doctor, should I do something? I mean, just, you know, because most people have been saying theirs has been coming back three to four weeks and everything I've read says your taste should come back three to four weeks. And I'm looking at triple that. And so they told me that one of our, we have a, probably like all of y'all do, we have several after hour clinics and they tell me one of the after hour clinics that opens at one today, um, that they are doing the antibodies testing. So I'm going to get Riggs and I'm gonna take him back home and then I'm gonna go up there with my mask. And she said I wouldn't have to wait as long. Um, they would just take, take me back there, I called them and said they would take me back there and do blood work and that I should know in five to seven days if I had it. So that'll just give me some peace of it. Yeah, I've been missing my little man. He, uh, he, when Ashley talks to me, he'll hear me on the phone. Lots of times she has it on speakerphone. He said, is that my gangan? And she said, yes, it's your gangan. He said, I go see her tomorrow. <laughs> I go see her, I need my gangan. So gangan needs him today. Um, I was supposed to keep them today. I was supposed to have had all day with them and actually got put on call. And so um, <clears throat> we waited to make sure she wasn't gonna get called into work. And I said, well, how about I just come get my little boy? And uh, cause I'd had Rhett this week and I had Reed, you know, a couple weeks ago. And she said, oh mom, that would be great. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get him, I'm almost there. And uh, but yeah, he said, I got, I go see her tomorrow. <laughs> He is a bossy little thing, I'm here to tell you. He is a bossy little fella. And he's still so little, y'all. He only weighs 28 pounds. And, um, but Michael was like that. And Michael's a big guy now. So, um, we're not worrying about it. But sometimes it's hard for me to remember that he's three years old. Because, and, and yeah, 
<laughs> when he was uh, in the prayer closet the other day, y'all, he can talk a lot better than that. He was trying to make up words. He was acting like he was reading. So, oh, and I'm gonna miss my prayer closet time with my boys today. I do that. I don't. I think I keep them Tuesday or Wednesday next week. So. But anyway, it's just a beautiful spring day. I know I've spoiled y'all rotten this week. You've had a video every day. <laughs> Don't expect that every week. <laughs> but um, I've enjoyed reading all of your comments. I've seen so many new names um, from people. And I got two really sweet cards yesterday. And gosh, I hate to even say it. Because you were a newer person that I didn't recognize your name right off. But one of my subscribers sent me a $15 McDonald's gift card. How sweet is that? But she said, I've never seen you drink Starbucks, which I don't. So you did good. But I love me some Meg McMuffin. <laughs> and I get the boys on the days I keep them. I get them McDonald's breakfast every time. So that'll save me about 17 I think that's usually about $17 with my breakfast. So... Hey, you bought breakfast for me and the boys one morning. So thank you so much. That's so sweet. Y'all don't have to do anything like that. I always tell you that, but I, I do have to say I get a little thrill when I get something. And I just think that's really sweet love. And and I've been seeing so many of you new commenters, you know, commenters, that's not is that correct? I've been seeing so many new subscribers make comments. And I love seeing those new names on there. And I love my ones that have been with me. I'm not going to call you old. But the ones that have been with me for a long time. I so enjoy. Anyway, happy Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. We were hoping, hoping, praying we would get to be in church this Sunday. But we're not. So... But we are going to have a drive-in service Sunday night. And then we'll have online service Sunday morning. So, gosh, we're so ready. Oh, and for our mentoring class, I have my one-on-one -on -one interview tomorrow morning at 10. And so we'll be doing that Zoom. And that's with uh, Pastor Jamie and the two other leaders that have helped. Mentoring is fixing to be over. I can't believe it. When I started it, I thought, oh my God, I can't believe I gotta do this for nine months. Well, it has been the most wonderful thing. And I have talked to several of my friends that have been hesitant about taking it. And I'm like, do not be hesitant because it is wonderful. It is life changing. So anyway, I'm gonna pull up here this big old pretty farmhouse. I'm so proud of them. And um, get my boy and then head back home. So. Just wanted to check in with y'all. I love you guys. Y'all have a great, wonderful weekend. Find you an online service to listen to because all churches are doing it right now. So there's no excuse for you not to find one. Um, uh, one of my subscribers, here I go again. She and I have talked back and forth on this week and she said they listen to two on Sunday morning. So Dr. Uh, David Jeremiah was one of them and he's so good. So yeah, you can find whatever your denomination, your beliefs is, you can find an online service for it during this quarantine because everybody's doing online. So y'all have a great weekend. I love y'all. Bye-bye. He hasn't seen us, has he? Right in here, let's see if we can get his attention. Oh, there he sees you now. He sees you. Huh? Yeah. There's your papa. Now you can go see him. He's getting off the tractor. <laughs> He's wanting to see you, papa. Tell him he is. We got one. They got a big rock. A big rock? No, big watch. Watch. Big watch. You got a big watch. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. Is that your papa? Yeah. <laughs> Boy, papa loves you. I miss you. I like your cow. Yeah, hat. It's a hat. Yeah, hat. That's right. It's a Nike hat, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs>
It's Ray Tat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He wanted to see you. Right. Are you wanting to go in the house for a little while? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, tell Papa. So. I want to play down there. You want to play what? Downstairs. Downstairs? Yeah. Well, tell Papa, say, so. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, big stuff. Are you going to go back there for me? Gang, Papa's going to work a little while. Gang, gonna yeah. go downstairs Papa, with you. Papa Yay. just started. I had to go buy some drink. Dragon? Yeah. I, I can't believe that you found that on the ground. I, I thought it got fire. You think it shoots out fire? Yes. Oh, my goodness. He's got fire in his mouth. He's got fire in his mouth? Yeah. Show me how he does. Turn around and show me. Turn around toward me. How does he do? Shoot fire out of his mouth. Oh my goodness. I got him open his mouth and full fire over there. And on uh, and the on that back. And then that got mug on it and get 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 a fire out there. Wow. We just watched onward. Mm -hmm. A Disney movie and it has and a dragon in it. Oh, I see your shadow. I know. Imagination. I love to hear their imaginations. <laughs> My magic stick. Has it got a jewel in it? Where's the tomato? Up in the sky? Not no tomato in the sky. No way, Jose. Yes, it is. Where, how can you see a tomato in the sky? No. You tell me. A tornado. How? Oh, a tornado. Yeah. Oh, I think those are clouds. I think it is. Clouds. I think it is a tornado. A tornado? Yeah. You think it's a tornado? Yeah. Well, I hope not, because I don't like... What does tornadoes do? Okay, put you in a guy and put you in a girl and put you in a messy girl, got a girl. My goodness, they pull you up. They get full fire on you. They'll throw fire on you too? No, on you. On me? Yes. And they'll pull you up in the sky? Mm -mm. Does a tornado do that? Well, where do mm -hmm. you where do you go at your house when there's a tornado coming? No, I can not come at your house. No, but when you're at your house and Daddy says there's a tornado coming, where do you go? Um, I, you need to put you need to come get us. <laughs> oh, I need to come get you. No, come get us. Come get us. You know, come get up. Is that, buddy? I think it's a dragon. A dragon? Yes. Let me see it. Oh. Let me see. Oh, is that from a dragon? Yes, John Oliver. My goodness. That is amazing. Not too scary. Don't you fall over backwards? Does it hurt you? Look at that. A sheep. That's amazing. No, get scary. It's scary. No. Yeah. Goodbye. You like to hear the birds chirping? Yeah. I hear them too. <laughs> I say. <laughs> I say. <laughs> maybe they'll say, talk. Maybe they'll talk. Maybe they'll talk back to you. Yeah. Who's going to get us some Mexican? Hey, you want to tell your mama that you love her? Hey. Say, hey, mommy. He's getting dragons. We just watched Onward. Hey, look here at the camera. I find a dragon. I love it. I find dragon. He's finding dragons, mama. Yes. You want to tell your mama you love her? I love you, mommy. Say, bunches and bunches. Say, see you tomorrow. Hey, tell her, say, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Say, I'm sleeping with Gang Gang. I'm sleeping with Gang Gang. Play Gizmo. Hog heaven. Play Gizmo. No, that's part of a shell, like a um, pecan shell. Yeah. Yeah. 
I said bye. He said, I'm not le I'm not leaving. <laughs> leaving. Is he small compared to y'all's? If you have any three year olds in your family, is he small compared to them? He's the tiniest baby we've had. You are going so fast. Look at you. You better turn. Turn this way. There you go. Are you going fast? Are you getting off? I see something. You see something? Yeah. What'd you see? What'd you see? What'd you see, boo boo? Is it a magic stick? No. What is it? I think it's a good it. Thank you. Good for you. For me, thank you.